Hi there, I'm Curtis and I work at Nickel Plate Arts. I'm happy to be here today with Jeanette Pomeroy Parsi, who I'm going to give an introduction, even though you're right here and you're going to hate it. Um, so Jeanette recently received our, um, we have, we do these awards every year and Jeanette won our Arts Educator of the Year. She has also um, been teaching classes for most of 2020 virtually for Nickel Plate Arts, among other things. She paints um, and is, you'll hear more about her art life as we go on. But Jeanette, thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us today. Well, thank you for having me. Um, well, yeah, we're, uh, I can I can already tell behind you, you've got some, some magical stuff that you've worked on. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, um, whether, you know, what's going on today or just a little bit about your art background um, as we get started. Well, I've been painting for um, 25 years this year. I first picked up a paintbrush to try it out um, when my first daughter was born. And from there, I worked, um, I, I am proud to say that I'm self-taught, but I've worked with many artists across the years, taking workshops and classes, um, actually starting out painting at a community art center, much like Nickel Plate. And as I've progressed through my art life, I've um, kind of, oh, I would say gone across many different styles and um, worked in South Florida for 20 years and then just recently moved to Indiana about two years ago. And believe it or not, I hadn't even been in Indiana for a year when I met you at Nickel Plate and also uh, was artist in residence at Ignite Studio in the spring of 2019. And that experience kind of cemented my, um, or at least started to lay the foundation for art in this area. And it was such a positive, positive experience for me working there um, with the community, meeting people from the community. And from there, I think met you folks at Nickel Plate um, after that residency was over. And um, I remember walking into Nickel Plate to see a couple of paintings that were hanging in the gallery that I had and Coda had just started and you had just lost your drawing instructor. And she looked at me and said, do you want to be our new drawing instructor? <laughs> I said, sure. Um, I had just gotten back uh, from teaching up at Interlochen Center for the Arts for um, the summer camp up there and literally had been home a day. So that's when it started last September with Nickel Plate. And since then, I think we've had great success with, um, with building our student base um, with you. As far as painting goes, I paint from my home studio up in the second floor of my house. I have a great loft space up here with um, daylight coming in and a couple of easels and a work table. And I also have my virtual teaching setup where I'm sitting right now. And it's we have evolved every class working um, very, very efficiently to, to teach virtually, which has been a great experience. No, and I'm, as I'm far here. as, oh, oh. I'm sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, I'm interested in hearing about the shift um, because I'll, you know, obviously in the middle of March, everything changed in um, our world and especially in our country. Um, and we shifted to being at home. And now we do some stuff at home and some stuff not at home, but we should be mostly being at home, but you're teaching uh, exclusively virtually. Talk about that shift. Cause that's, I think you've, you've gotten the knack for it. Yeah. The, um, Let's see, I remember the exact day when we said we weren't coming back. It was March 11th and then everything kind of shut down on March 13th. My last class at the studio at Nickel Plate was March 11th. And it was kind of funny because I said when I walked in, I said to the class, well, you know, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but I just have a feeling that I'm not gonna see you again. So let's kind of wrap things up here. We had one more class in the series and 
I said goodbye to everybody and then March 13th happened and, and everything shut down. And I sat at home for a couple of um, weeks thinking, oh my gosh, I owe these students at one class. And plus I had some after school art classes that I needed to finish up. People had already paid tuition and you know, I wanted to figure it out. And um, so my husband and I figured out how we could hook up a second camera to be um, focused on a work surface while I was instructing to my laptop screen, talking to my laptop screen. So we figured that out with just a couple of pieces of wood and a little hangman um, uh, set up. And uh, I'm able to put a camera on top of this little thing right here that goes down on my work surface. And I also, we figured out we needed to enhance the setup because I couldn't see things very well from my students if I just held, up, if people just held them up to the camera like this. It was um, very difficult to see with screen resolution. So what I did, what I do every class is set up a text screen with everybody in the class. And people take pictures of what they're working on. That means I can see them in high resolution. I can um, download them and mark them up if I need to um, for a little clearer instructions and then send them back into the text string. Um, so it provides me a, a real time way of critiquing a good picture of what students are working on. And on top of that, it allows everybody else in the class to see what everybody else is working on. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't have thought of that about starting a text string, but that is a very 2020 um, kind of MacGyver way to figure out how to see the, the screen resolution because depending on, you know, your camera and your internet connection and the other person's camera and the other person's internet connection, you might see something that, you know, is all pixely um, and it might supposed to look like that, um, but it probably isn't supposed to look like that. Uh, well, what I would love to do is to uh, now take a look at some of your paintings and then okay. we'll um, end by talking about classes and how people can give the gift of art classes um, during the holiday season. So okay. I've got your website pulled up on your gallery page. So it's jpparsi.com mm -hmm. and I'm going to hit share here. Okay. And I am on your, uh, specifically in your gallery, in your landscape gallery. So um, talk through some of these paintings. And if you want me to hover or click on one, um, just tell me to do that. Okay. This is a series that I've been working on since uh, the beginning of 2019. It's called Dreaming in Color. And one of the things that I've always been fascinated with is... Um, I learned to meditate at one point a long, long time ago. And when I was meditating, when the teacher was um, with me, I asked her, now, does everybody see in color when they have their eyes closed when they're meditating? Hmm. And she said, uh, no. I said, oh, wow. Well, I'm seeing purple and blue and green and pink and just all these really vibrant colors. And I have never, I, I wanted to figure out a way to capture that, um, you know, from my own experience. And when I was starting my residency at Ignite in March of 2019, I did a painting that's in this group. We can scroll down and find it. Um, let's see, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I can't even remember what it's called. Keep going, keep going. Okay, stop right there. It's called Quiet Waters. If you uh, click on that. Um, I was doing a painting up here in the studio while I was working at Ignite and I wasn't super happy with it. And I scraped it down and worked it a little bit. And this was the first painting in the series. And I said, oh my gosh, this is the beginning of what I see when I close my eyes sometimes. Mm. And so based on this painting, my husband said to me, you have to do that bigger and you have to do more of that. 
So during my residency, you can, you can close that up and we can look at some other ones. During my residency, I ended up working, um, pull up a new day there, 48 by 36. This is a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. During my residency, I worked um, really large canvases because the space at Ignite that they offer to the artist in residence is huge. And it, it provided elbow room and space to let large paintings dry over the course of time. So I was painting at 36 by 48, 48 square. Um, even I, I think I did one that was uh, maybe four by five feet. Wow. Um, so some of these are very small, eight by eight, and some are really big. Sure, um, we've got an eight by eight here, and this one's 30 by 48, and then right. everything in between, 12 by 24. Yeah, so um, there are paintings that work really well together. This, um, if you stop right here, the uh, cherry trees in bloom, the new blossoms and seasons change are all 12 by 24s done in the same color palette. Sure. And they hang individually or they hang together. Now, now one thing that I think is cool here, uh, a couple of things. Um, so these are all oil paintings on gallery wrap canvas. Is that correct? Correct, yes. So um, I think this is cool for a couple of reasons because um, so I'm, I'm learning, still learning my art terms, my art gallery terms. But what I like about a gallery wrap canvas is that it doesn't have a frame, but the artist paints onto the sides, into the tops and bottom of the canvas. And so that way it's just ready to go on the wall. So for the artist, you don't have to buy a frame, which can get really expensive, um, mm -hmm. but it also has a really cool look to it. And it's um, just ready to go on someone's wall. So I think it's smart for you and it's kind of a cool um, contemporary look. Um, Bobby K. Samples, who has her work up now at the Stevenson Gallery at Nickel Plate does the same thing. And I think it, it just looks cool. Well, one of the things that it also does is it allows you as you approach the paintings from the side to be drawn into the painting as you walk toward it. So the edges kind of catch your eye. And then as you come to the front of it, it allows you to see the whole the whole image. Um, these paintings can be framed. They, you know, they are able to be framed, but it allows somebody to have a painting, hang it on the wall, and then decide down the road if you want it, you know, want to enhance it with a frame or it just stands on its own. But all sure. of these paintings stand on their own. Sure. So you have the option um, if you want to just throw it right on the wall, um, it's good to go. Or if you want to frame it, you can. Um, I think your the colors that you work with are really nice. Nice. Uh, uh, there's bright and vivid colors. And I think that, you know, if someone's thinking about art as a gift, whether they're buying it for someone who's on their, um, you know, holiday shopping list, or if they're rewarding themselves for surviving 2020, um, I think that you could take any of these color schemes and look around your room that you're thinking about uh, purchasing art for and find something from this um, from this page specifically from your gallery. And there would be a number of paintings to choose from at um, really reasonable prices, in my opinion. Yes, the other thing that's very, very cool about the smaller eight by eights, 10 by 10s, even the 12 by 12s is that I oftentimes group them in threes or sixes to make a, a collage because so many of the colors work well together on these individual um, canvases. And as I have them in my studio here or I've displayed them in shows, um, even a wall of nine of the small eight by eights makes a really huge impact um, to create a larger piece of art. Um, the holidays. Obviously art makes a great gift, but you could give the, the skill of art as a present as well, right? Correct, um, absolutely. Uh, I think giving art classes to somebody who wants to learn or somebody who is an artist, but maybe doesn't make the time for themselves to paint um, is a great uh, gift. And at Nickel Plate, we have um, the intro to drawing class. 
and we have oil painting. And also there's a teen tween drawing slash art class that I teach weekly on Wednesday afternoons. And all of that is just, we have such a good time. As I said, it creates such a good community for, for students and we learn a heck of a lot. Um, I, I go back uh, in the intro classes to the very basics. So, so people who haven't picked up a pencil ever or maybe in a very long time feel comfortable kind of getting, getting back into it or, or starting from scratch. Um, it's also relaxed enough that if somebody has experience, um, you know, I help them through their own projects during class time, it's very much of a studio-based set setting, uh, kind of replicating what I would be doing with students if we were in a studio. So I work with people of very different levels within the same class, um, as well as teaching the basics along with it. Yeah, and so for those three classes, the intro to oil painting class is offered. Uh, th these all start at the beginning of January. So when you, you've got your New Year's resolutions geared up, um, the introduction to oil painting uh, is on Wednesday mornings at 10 and Wednesday evenings, or I should say, or Wednesday evenings uh, starting at 630. And then uh, Monday night drawing class, as it sounds, um, starts Monday nights um, at 7. And then the teen and tween drawing class is on Wednesdays after school from 4.30 to 5.30. So that's just an hour. And the other ones are two hours. Correct. Now I understand yep. you're doing a version of these classes for another group. Um, I'd love to hear about that because not everyone's available uh, during these times. Um, yes, I reached out to the Anderson Museum of Art in Anderson, Indiana, and talked to the, the executive director there and proposed a series of classes, uh, the same classes that I'm teaching at Nickel Plate. And we are up and running with those on uh, the first week of January on Tuesdays and then on Thursdays. So we have oil painting Tuesday morning and Thursday night and drawing on Tuesday night. Um, we are not doing any uh, student after school classes there, but um, the, the oil painting is available twice a week and the drawing classes once a week on Tuesday evenings. So I'm very excited about doing that to allow a few more options for students as far as the timing and, and scheduling of classes. So. so as far as what you have available for people to purchase during this holiday season, you can give a person a painting or you could teach a person to paint. How to paint. So it's kind of like, you know, give a man a fish, teach a man to fish. Yeah, um, exactly. You're offering both of those things, but instead of uh, fish, it's um, art. Art, exactly. <laughs> instead exactly. of man, it's all people. But I think yeah. that that's what they were getting at when they said, if you teach, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, cool. Um, Jeanette, I, I think you're fascinating and I'm, I'm sad that we don't get to talk more often um, because you're an interesting person and um, very skilled at what you do. And, I, and, and we've been hearing great things um, from the classes you're doing even right now. So um, if someone is looking for art, you can go to Jeanette's website to purchase some art for your house or for someone else's house. And I'm telling you, if you give art as a present, um, that's, you know, you, you've won. You've won the holidays um, because people are gonna love that. Um, and if you or someone else you know are interested in art classes in the new year, that is a, uh, you're giving someone an experience and you're giving them skills. And I think that anymore, um, we've got plenty of stuff, right? Um, yeah. So if you can give someone a skill, I think that's, um, that's a great gift in my opinion. Yeah. And to find the classes, all my classes are on the classes tab of my website with links directly to the registration at the organization. And then you can also go to nickelplatearts.org or the Anderson Museum, um, dot org, um for the Anderson classes. But um, I would encourage, they're all listed by drawing and oil painting on my website to make it really easy to just get there. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Well, uh, Jeanette, thanks for spending a few minutes with us today. And so um, 
we can formally sign off and I'll stop hitting record and then I'll say thanks after I stop okay. hitting record. So just, just showing everyone behind the curtain real quick. Okay. Uh, so thank you very much, Jeanette. Um, everyone go to her website and um, buy some art or buy some classes for someone. Okay. Well, thank Thanks. you so much, Curtis.